This is Chunky Boys, a duo Iron Man chunk-locked PVM adventure with a twist. In each episode, we start in a random chunk and then the clock counts down. When the time runs out, we flip a coin to see if we keep or lose our newfound chunks. With this much pressure, what you do with your time matters because you'll never know when you'll be in the same place again. What do you do with your limited time? Where will you end up next? How can you overcome the odds and tackle the challenges ahead when nothing is predictable and nothing is certain? One thing's for sure though, we're a couple of chunky boys. Hello and welcome to episode three of Chunky Boys. I'm here with Zach. How are we doing today, Zach? Doing good, thanks. All right, so I gotta just say, um, I was excited in the first episode because I was excited to get this series going. I was so excited in the second episode because we got some very, very good chunks for some low levels. But my level of excitement for those cannot compare to what we're about to do today. Our luck with the chunks in this series has been insane so far. If you, maybe if you don't count the first episode, but maybe you do because of what it's going to allow us to do today, right? If you guys remember last time, by the way, if you haven't watched any of the previous two episodes, highly recommend it. If you remember from the end of episode two, we rolled the East Ardoin chunk, which means a cup, a bunch of things, right? First of all, we can go directly north and we can connect up to the landmass that we had from episode one. So that's great. We can get from our new chunks back into that area. And that also means that we can go a little bit south to the Tree Gnome Village and this whole line up here allows us to complete waterfall quest, which is just insane that we could do that this early on. I don't think that I thought we were going to get this lucky. No, I feel a little spoon fed and I love it. <laughs> so along the way, there are a couple of other quick quests that we're going to do. Monk's Friend, Clock Tower, and Hazil Cult are all completely contained within these two chunks. And along with that, we can start, uh, but not complete fight arena. We could complete it if we had a reliable way to kill the monsters in there. But because we don't have access to a good rune source, I don't think that we're going to be able to uh, complete that quest. But we can start it for a little bit of a plate body and a helmet upgrade. So it's going to be a bit of a quest in episode. We have a good game plan together, and I'm really excited to get it going. So I think without further ado... We can just get our timer started and get uh, move on it. with this episode, yeah? Let us do it. I am ready to go if you are, if you remember what uh, what we had agreed on to begin this episode. Mm. Eh, I'll all follow right. you. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's get it going. On the count of three, we're going to start our timers. Ready? One, yep. two, three. All right, sweet. Timer's going. We'll just launch the Barbarian Assault uh, minigame teleport before we do anything. We are going to start Waterfall Quest. There's a bank up there. The only thing we need for the beginning of this quest is rope, which we bought last time. Thank goodness. Although, I guess if we didn't, this general store right here sold it, huh? So we wouldn't be completely it out did. of luck for Waterfall. That's quite We're convenient. looking good. All right, I'm going to grab that. I don't know if we need a weapon, but I just like carrying this scimitar around, so I'm going to. Maybe as well as I do coins. not have rope. You okay, got the rope. That is just fine. I'm going to grab two rope. I'm glad you reminded me before I got too far away. I have two rope. I have a steel scimitar, and uh, I've got a coin stack just because you never know where you're going to need coins, man. And I'm booking right, it on this. up to this waterfall quest. Now, I am going to use the... Rune like a uh, helper for quests. Okay. So I'm going to turn that on right now. Yeah, you go ahead I've and done do these that. That's enough times where I don't really want to look at the guide again. Yeah, and I don't really care about dialogue or anything like that. Does it One. like highlight what? Oh, sweet. Oh, man, it, like, you got to turn it on. Hold on. It automatically kind of turned on. Oh, yeah. It oh, knows yeah, where I you're at it. based <gasps> on your quest. Oh, guide. this is. The, the, it's all lit up over here, so I know what to click on. Dude. Can I have a. Hold on. There's a, a rope. I, I hit accept too quickly. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Rope for you. Yeah, I'm super stoked about this. Let's see if we talk to this guy. Does it tell us what dialogue we pick, too? Uh, yeah, it does. And check this out. And it tells you what. Oh, dude. Okay. Cannot hey. mess this part up. Click on I'll the look barrel. At this guy. This miserly old merchant. <laughs> oh, Rizzolo, guess what, man? We're never using your shop again. We have much, never. much better shops to deal with. Read through the book. Okay, we are at the pebble step. Are we real that quick? Bro, that took that like quick. took two and a half minutes. That's Anything crazy. Anything we need to do while we're up here? I don't think so. Maybe blow Rizzolo or, or Raspberry really quick. 
Oh, I cried at him and said, yeah. okay, that works as well. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to kill a moss giant this episode, <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Is that the boss for this episode? That's, that's the boss. I tell you what, oh, after, do after we get our stats together, that's right, you hit a one. I'm not scared of you anymore. After we get our stats from Waterfall Quest, I think we're looking pretty good to kill a moss giant. I saw that. I saw that. 18 gold. Hell yeah. Ooh, bank, 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 bank. I should have grabbed some more stuff. We're looking right. at like Monk's Friend and Clock Tower. Is that correct? Yes. Um, what about Hazil Colt? Definitely that one because it gives there. a lot of coins. It gives like 2k and it gives thieving XP, which will be great. Okay, sweet. Okay. I think I think this is all that we need. <laughs> I like that these episodes start out with us like booking at places and then very quickly it just turns into a walk fest. Yep. yep. Agility problems. <sighs> uh, while we're here, I'm quickly going to buy a couple of beef from this guy. Anything else that could be useful here? Vials of water? I wonder if we should get a couple of those in case we can make some potions here in the next episode or two cool okay do you want to do pebble first and then start walking back up or do you want to do the quests here really quick i think we stay here let's uh let's get these logs sorted out do monk's okay. friend sweet i'm gonna um, go ahead and tower start cult. monk's friend hey it looks like someone <laughs> is just completing it there's hey. balloons on the ground party time. Party. party time imp this is my chance i can get, <laughs> get your wizard hat, man there's several around here chunks, friend it's All very right, convenient. Start Monk's Friend. Start Monk's Friend will do. Where are they? Sweet. I'm going to go over and retrieve the blanket. Ooh, this isn't outside of the chunk, is it? If so. Oh, it's right inside. Oh, right thank, inside. thank goodness. Wow. Holy cow. You're right. Okay. It's just, it's barely inside. The ladder is That's like very lucky. two, oh my goodness. two squares off from the edge of the chunk. Nutsos. Man, Sweet. Who steals the child's blanket? Like, I know. What a messed up thing that, to do. That seems really who rude. Who on earth? Sweet. Okay. So I'll give you a jug of water if you give me a log. Thank you. And you were correct Perfect. about the jug being lost to this man. Okay, good to know. Here you go. Let's go back and complete Monk's Friend. This is our first quest completed on these accounts. Oh my gosh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Uh, we didn't really think of quests because we didn't think we'd be able to. But mm -mm. for these like one chunk quests, mm -hmm. these are, mm -hmm. yeah. And good. especially for early I'll levels, like this is going to get us a fat chunk of wood cutting XP. And some law really? runes. Yeah, it does. It gives like 2,000 wood cutting XP. Oh my gosh. Eight law runes. Okay, coins. that's great. And we get to party. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Okay, I, okay I'm not this much of a dancer. I know this is such a we're, fat we're waste of time, dude. Oh, feel uh, the rhythm. Yeah, feel great. the clock Thank counting you. down more like. Feels a little forced, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if our character's like actually not into it? It's just being forced to dance yeah. out of politeness. 2,000 XP. Oh, 13, 13 wood, cutting. wood cutting right off the bat. Amazing. Dude. Oh, First oh, ah. Or we could do clock tower really quick. I'm really not concerned about the time given that it's taken us like 13 minutes to get to this point. Right. I right. think we'll no, be fine. fine. Let's get this extra 500 coins. It'll help us um, maybe afford some armor upgrades later because we can still go back to Al Karid, right? And maybe get like a black plate leg upgrade possibly clock tower possibly. oh man this quest helper is incredible i can see why this quest uh recommends stamina potions because oh boy oh boy yeah the one agility grind hurting us here <laughs> we're gonna have to remedy that situation pretty soon Okay, so I already you are just fine. Holy mackerel, dude. Ooh, so goblins too. They Smack can hit them. sevens, by the way. I found that out. Okay. I'm okay, really glad scary. I brought we have food with me. <laughs> trusty kebabs. Yep. Yes, that was a very smart idea. We are so lucky with these chunks because we had one in Monk's Friend that was two tiles off the other chunk, and this one is two tiles off the other side of the chunk. Is it really? Jeez. Crazy, dude. I can't believe we're getting to do like four quests on the third episode. <laughs> wow. I feel blessed. Making huge moves. I'm debating whether this one's worth it or not, just because it involves I, so much walking. Okay. Getting these quests done, then what? Our plan kind of stopped there, right? Uh, That's true. I was kind of planning on just maybe trying to kill some hill giants, maybe moss giants, mm -hmm. depending on how we're feeling comfortability-wise. We're going to have access to those myth simis now, which means we can sell the steel ones back. So there's quests with quest point requirements, which is why I'm pushing these yes, a little bit. Yes, I was just I about don't to get mention stuck. that. Um, there's areas champion. too. Yeah, I was going to say champion skilled. If we can get 32 quest points together, it's a pretty big mm -hmm. thing. Also a rat in here. We do. 
Ooh, kill yes, the rat. So pops this back out. Ooh. <gasps> I already left. Okay. That's I'll get fine. it. I'll, we have other ways to get it. Yes. Dude, I'm it's flicking kind of clarity of rat. thought right now. <laughs> wow. You're a gamer. I'm a beast right now. So this All right. One goes up Sweet. I got my rat meat for um, Druidic meat. Ritual. Yeah, Druidic Ritual. Yes. Sweet. All right. That is Clock Tower completed for both of us. Let us go and do. Let's do the pebble now. Zeal's cold. Well. No, you're right, because we're going to have to walk back up. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's do his eel cult. Sweet. Talk to Cyril Carnelian in the south of East Ardoin. 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 So we need to side with Cyril. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct, which means that we need to kill like a level 13 dude, I think. Level wow, look yourself. at this. We're going to thread the freaking needle over here. I'm picking this purple die up, by the way, because wow. I get access to a cape. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, we are so close to not being able to walk by this place. That's okay. There's supposedly a plague in there anyway. <laughs> yeah. okay. Now we go back to... No, there's valves. We got to do valves. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, wait. <gasps> Dude. Our first, is it a maze? It's a maze. Oh my gosh. This, I forgot. I was like, oh, r r mysterious old man. I forgot how incredible this is. Okay, this okay, is well worth the time. the time. Dude, what a donkey random event to get first. Oh my gosh. I ah, think I got okay. the good path too. I'm completing this with 74%. Okay, please be good. I would take iron arrows. I would take runes. Well, you're you going to be happy then because I got iron arrows. Did I get coins okay, as that's well? Good. I think I got some coins. I got Acceptable. iron and steel arrows. Truthfully, I think I would have rather had like death runes or something or chaos runes. I'm a yeah. little underwhelmed. That's okay. Worth it still. It's a great way for us to get some range training started. How much food did you bring? Uh, I still have two kebabs and a beef left. Okay. If you are this wanting some of that. kind of chonks you. Okay. Are you fighting him right now? Yeah, I'm flinching him actually because okay. we have to kill him twice. Oh, right, 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 right. Alamon, so we got to kill him twice, right, for the duplicate armor? Yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah, we do. I really think I should have brought some armor with me. I have three health. Okay. Get all hairy. <laughs> okay, hell yeah. <laughs> Look at you. It goes well with your skirt. I'm a stud. Yeah, right? <laughs> it clashes horribly with your hair, though. I like my hair. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There, there it is. is. Okay, I gotta pick got it, this got one it. up. Nice. And then I'll grab this one. And I'm out of prayer points as well. Whew. We did it, man. We did it. That was harder than it needed to be. I know, I didn't right? Think it'd be that, bad. that was really weird. Uh, 25 or 35 minutes through the episode, too. But we have our very first plate body upgrade, which is We're actually good. weirdly good. It gives plus 20 stab, plus 14 slash, plus 8 crush. So, yeah, like I'm yeah. actually impressed. It's kind of cool armor oh Who would have hell thought? yeah that's 22 thieving for me by the way nice and job. i have over 3k in my inventory which has got to be a personal best Looking all right rich. so there's two there's two more things that we wanted to do in this area okay. we wanted to go start fight arena for the kazard armor and then we mm -hmm. have to finally go to the tree gnome place um waterfall yes waterfall Ugh, which means are we gonna need food to get through the maze we might we might want to either go get some more kebabs or hop a couple worlds and buy meat from the shop probably um, kebabs i might have kebabs in my bank yes same yep those are the only items required and then food okay sweet so, i think uh, i think that's good i remember how to do yep. this just talk to her say you'll help her and then i'm pretty sure we can just go immediately pick up the armor can i help you yep let's go get the armor and then we can head into the maze sweet okay yeah the helmet weighs two and the plate body weighs 0.5 how does that make sense? Okay. Okay, okay. Well, another kind of plate buddy upgrade, and this is definitely the best in slot helmet that we have. Dude, mm -hmm. we're looking chunky over here. I'm which feeling it. Makes sense, right? Because we are a couple of chunky boys. Chunky boys. All right. All right, yeah. We're so gonna make this long trek. The long trek. A very long trek. <sighs> but until we did our uh like theory crafting yesterday, I didn't know that there was an entrance to the Tree Gnome Village maze from this side. I had no idea. I know people use this, honestly. Blackberry is level 19. Ugh, I We're wonder. Fine. I wonder if I should be doing this now or after Waterfall. I'm going to hit on him. I'm going to see what happens. If I hit the first hit. Oh, okay. Dude, I think we're in bear land right now. Oh, you're doing fine. Okay, okay. I'm going to let you do that. I Sweet. Really need to be here. I guess I could just kill two so that you could get a bear meat as well. Oh, I can always come back. Okay. I'm not too worried about it. Nice. I just got a hit point level, which hey, is great you when you're face taking a bear that can hit threes. Wow, this is a journey. Oh, holy, holy, holy crap. Holy crap. 
Okay. Yeah, I just got so hot. I just got chanced by the bear. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe don't die. <laughs> uh okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. There got you him. Go. Uh, he drops the meat. Definitely got chanced by the bear just now. Uh, okay. 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 Now to continue the long walk through the maze. Good Did you kill a giant rat village, when you're there? No, I will. I will come back and handle all that stuff. That's fine. I'll kill a rat for you because I had a rat meat from earlier, and I can kill one here. That'll sort your rat meat out, so you don't gotta run back through. Um, I don't want to get too sidetracked away from waterfall. Right. I just think it'll be much easier when I'm like 30 attack and yes. strength to deal with all that stuff. Yo, what the hell lowered my stats? Kebab. You got a bad kebab. Oh, is that what it was? That's why the barrel mm -hmm. chanced me because the kebab screwed me over. Womp womp. Womp womp. Okay, I am on my way to get the pebble. Dude, why That's is it that like text. every episode we have a near death experience? That is the way. And it's like usually when we're, <laughs> it's usually when we're doing something a little foolish, like when we're kind of not expecting it, like when a bad kebab doesn't heal you and the bear almost KOs you. So I got so the pebble. Scary. Is that the only thing that I needed from here? I think so. I believe so. Okay. So um, now we eat barb telly? Uh, yes. Yeah. If you're at that point, then I think we do it. And okay. then maybe we can sync up at like Galeriel's tomb or something. Ooh. This is a little nostalgic for me. I'm not going to lie. Right? Yeah. This feels very familiar. <laughs> it's okay. So, so very familiar about all this. Please don't be bad kebabs. I keep getting bad freaking kebabs, dude. Okay, I'm at 15 HP again. Holy cow. You good? I am good. I need to do the skeleton trick for this next part, though. I can't. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the zombie the zombie aggro. These are way scarier than I uh, kind of anticipated them being. Yeah, it's okay. a level 84, so okay. I get it. Sweet. Nope, I got a zombie on me. Please stay on me. Okay, sweet. So I should be fine. I have the urn and the amulet. Holy cow, dude. That was uh, <laughs> honestly a little scary. I kind of panic ate the rest of my kebabs. Um, okay. So I might need to grab a couple from you for the fire giant, which is the next part. I've never done this quest on such a low level. Yeah, it's a little scary. It's very, very scary. All right, but we are good. We got that stuff. That's maybe the scariest part. Uh, fire giant's yeah, still absolutely. really scary though. Don't mess this part up, man. Don't mess it up. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> We've all done it. It's usually this second part, too, when you're like, all right, I got the rock. Now click on the thing. Okay, I have one kebab. Okay. I ha I still have a couple, so if you want. Um... Nope, we're good, I think. <gasps> it's got a... Oh, oh boy. My gosh, dude, this keep, is so keep, keep. scary. Yeah, as long as you're above 11 HP and you can run through okay, the fire drags, then we're good. We okay, it. we're good. I appreciate this dude with the fat cat. Yes, thank Positron, my hero. <laughs> I didn't even get hit oh, by he's one. he's hardcore. Ooh. Okay, good on him. I'm in this room. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, yes. Juicy. Okay, look at these levels. 31 strength, 32 attack, and very close to 33 attack for me. Also very close to 32 strength. Wow. At our combat levels, good. you're 25, I'm 27. Dude, we just Ooh, freaking do we just got to die. We're looking real good. Um, okay, so that now, was everything. Now what are we going to do? We're an hour into this quest and we've gotten everything that we wanted to do done, right? Yeah, we did. So I, uh, I'm going to just look at the chunks for a second. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to plant some flowers. <sighs> oh, I left them. I didn't pick them. Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm going to pick these. Oh, nice. I got colored flowers, man. I got mixed flowers. Mm -hmm. Your, how did you Catch get me. the perfect flowers for your outfit? Look at you. I know, it's like this beautiful pastel. I love oh, it. It's, it's amazing. Now remember, your HP level didn't actually increase here, so we're just as likely to get KO'd right. by a fire giant as we were when we walked yeah. in here. But I'm thinking hill giants might be a move. That's actually. what I was thinking. We have access to the myth simis now because we have our attack level back yep. up, so we yep. can do that. So let's uh, do the bar crawl. Are you going to get your bear meat while we're here? Yes, because I have to go back down there anyway for the bar crawl, I believe. Okay. I'm going to just double check, though. Dude, we've gotten a lot done in this episode. All these quests. Got really far. Pretty yeah, dang. Quests. Huge. Um, all right, I'm doing the bar crawl. Eight coins. Oh, it's a heart stopper. What does this one do? It dealed four damage, so make sure that it's not going to kill you, man. What if the bar crawl was what done, Ooh, done me in? Well, then I think I am done here in these arty chunks. I think I'm going to go start sending some hill giants. Um, Very cool. Maybe start training some defense with the Miss Simi because we need to get that up. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a home teleport. If we've forgotten anything, it's not super detrimental because we can always minigame teleport back and it's just a bit of a walk down here. Uh, but I really don't think that there is anything I've forgotten to do. 
Let's see, good old Lumbridge, man. I'm back here in the good old of Lumbridge. I'm gonna have to do a couple things before I get this hill giant quest on the way. I need to buy some more kebabs. Let's see, I can sell this steel scimitar. I look real good, man. <laughs> Looking nice and spicy. Let's see, if oh, I'm gonna yeah. be fighting moss giants, I'm gonna get the Khazard armor out. Steel, I still have a uh, square shield. Oh, here it is, dude. I haven't put it on yet. The Mithril freaking scimitar. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Six more melee strength let's talk and about, plus six uh, attack bonus as well. Let's talk about max hits with the Miss Sim, right? Okay, yeah. Because that's what we've kind of been Lay looking at. Lay it on at, me, so. man. Lay it on me. Well, no, we're at 31 strength. Oh, my gosh. Dude, yeah, we're flying we through them. Uh, I'm okay, almost we can hit at 32. Five. We can hit fives? What? Holy cow. At, at 34, we can hit... A six on aggressive. Oh, no, that's on defensive. At 34, we can hit sixes. So keep that in mind. Wow. I wonder how efficient it's going to be to actually train on moss or on, on hill giants. I think you'll be surprised. Okay. <laughs> like, we're Especially still going to be taking defense. a lot of damage because we only have five defense. But that'll fly up, I think. That's true. It'll Personally. get trained very quickly. So I'm going to flat out focus on defense until I can get close to 20. Oh, yep, man. Yep. Implings. I see them everywhere. I know. I how, love... how do you start Hunter? I ah! do not know <laughs> what's going on. My guy routed around a tree and went outside the chunk. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Everything's Cri fine. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Oh, don't forget, we have um, boots in the bank. Give a little bit of crush. They give plus yes. one crush defense. That is worth it. Nice. Okay, okay, sweet. And we have 50 minutes left for Hill Giants. That's a lot of time, dude. That's a yeah, ton of time. Um, and let's not forget how good of a training method the Alcarid Warriors are. If Hill Giants are hitting us a little bit too much, we can always come back here, get our initial defense levels on those guys. Um, yep. But just because I know we're going to buy them during this episode, I'm going to buy the Myth Plate Legs right now. I'm skipping Black officially, but I'm buying <laughs> and banking them. I'll just keep them on. I'm going to go to Hill Giants right now. I don't want to walk all the way back to the bank. I'm going to make the trek up there. Sounds I got good. a full inventory of kebabs. I've got my beginner clue for juggling. I have some coins, which I'm going to need anyways, and I have the Mithril Plate Legs. Let's see how quickly I can get from um, level five to level 20 it might be doable this yeah, episode get that rolling oh yeah i'm hitting fours nice okay but you you know what's gonna screw Real us much. here is the hp level uh we also have low hit points right yes that's what i'm saying this is true so uh okay. the the alcarid warriors are looking nicer and nicer by the second man well i got a defense level already so nice yeah, dude, I don't know. Oh, this the is... scimitar is slashing. At a uh... five? Oh, my goodness. And a <laughs> what, four? What is it that you're attacking right now? This bear is butter. <laughs> butter I'm bear. actually destroying. <laughs> the thing I like about the hill giants is the big bones. Yes, me too. Lots but of XP. wait until you get up here and you see what it's like with this low of an HP level. Okay, I think I'll just hold off. I'm coming back to Lumbridge right now. Yeah, I think we need to boost that <sighs> HP up a bit and the defense level before we come up here. But I'm, I'm going to finish this For one sure. off. For sure. Okay. Like, I've already got two defense levels. I'm already at seven. They do go down pretty okay. quickly. Like, I hit fine, but we just also get hit so often. When you do get hit for a four, and it's like all of your HP pretty much, mm -hmm. ugh, it's a little rocky sauce. I didn't get anything of value, by the way. I got some onion seeds and sweet corn seeds, which I will keep. Okay. We don't have a good way to ma mage train, which kind of drives me nuts. I know, because otherwise we could be... Well, here's the thing. We haven't really mentioned this on camera yet. Uh, Waterfall quest done means we have permanent access to fire giants fire giants yes. we discovered Bring that after me. like a couple of minutes the other day we were like oh sweet this and that and waterfall quest and wait a minute fire giants because we have those chunks permanently unlocked so that means if we can get a decent way to range or mage we can camp for rune scimitars which is massive okay full invent of kebabs that was so quick this feels good this feels like the first episode pace where it's like <laughs> i don't feel super rushed yes exactly like we completed everything in big that we set out to do and i'm happy about that yeah and now we just have some time to train which is great I see you getting levels over there, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm wearing the wrong armor for these guys. You're right. The Carnelian oh, yeah, armor is really way good. better. All right. All right. All right. We're back in business. Where are these helmets they're wearing? <laughs> yeah, like well, a they... weird med helm. <laughs> Pointy. 
Yeah, where's that cosmetic item, right? Um, I just got level 15 defense, by the way. I think 20 is nice. very possible. Got another prayer level going on, and I'm gonna nice. eat a I cabbage. Nice, 17. You see, you're just a little bit behind me. I've got two more warriors before I hit 18. We're looking okay. pretty good on 20, and once I hit the 20 mark, I'm gonna head back up to Hill Giants and see what we can do. See what we can okay. knock out. A decent number of starter herbs coming from these guys. Yeah, actually, I've got quite a few. Mm -hmm. What That'd are we up nice. to right now? I'm just waiting for that day. Uh, when we unlock the uh, the Herblore chunk, so to speak. Mm -hmm. The magical Herblore chunk. We are sub 30 minutes now, just FYI. Ooh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. There's 18 defense coming in for me, though. Nice. There's a um a cabbage spawn in this part of the castle. Oh, yeah. And I keep, I keep picking it up <laughs> to eat it. Worth it. Give me that free food. Oh, mine just dropped the cabbage. Thank you. Oh, heck yeah. Dicky. <laughs> Dicky the cabbage. More reliable than the kebab, I'll tell you that. Hello. Hey. A mime show? Bro. Oh, bro, no. First random event on Humpty Chunky and it's a mime. Dismissed. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, man. I just got level 19 defense. One more to go. Ooh. And according to Runelight, it's just six guards away. Wow. We're looking real fine now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. I didn't know how much time we were going to have. I know. To get the training in. This is huge. <laughs> We're looking spicy. We're looking chunky, am I right? Very chunky. Like a nice Campbell's soup. <laughs> Not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> Give me a beginner Ooh. clue. I thought I got the 20 uh, defense, but it turns out I got 20 hit points. Hello. Ooh, that's juicy. That's also good. Well Dear, uh, oh, hold on. One more hit. And that's a miss. And here we go. Nope. And that uh, 20 defense slapped the Mithril play Ooh. legs on immediately. I am absolutely a chunk right now. There's no Give denying it. Give me a combat level check. Where are you at? Oh, shoot. I'm at level 31 combat. Oh, there's a dude out here. I forgot Dude. you were here. Okay. I forgot I left Ooh. an aggressive guard outside the door. I'll take care of you. Ooh. You'd be my last one. I am right behind you with that level. I think one more guard's gonna do it. Can I please hit this last hey, there it is. one HP? Wow. Yeah, here. yeah, 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 yeah. Go buy your skirt, my lady. Go buy that skirt. Do Don't this. forget, you can sell uh, the steel ones back now. Yes, yeah, simmies and skirt going away. Mm -hmm, I'm gonna mm -hmm. bank all my herbs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right quick. And then look at that. We still have 22 minutes to go and try and take down some hill giants, which I think is the yeah, move. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Now I know that your chest plate is better technically, but I actually think I'm gonna go for looks on this one. <laughs> and take minus two defense. Bonus. All right, man. And then they wear scimitars. That How is that two. crush? Okay, well, Someone according to the me. wiki, I've looked at all the variants on there, and the wiki says they use crush. That is so wrong. Whoever made these, shame on you. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's looking real nice. What's going on? Oh, did All you right. buy the skirt? Did you buy the skirt? I did. I did. I'm I'm real happy with it. Oh, man. Dude, this is so much better than before. Like, night and day difference in terms of getting hit. Awesome. All right. Hey, yeah. that staff over there. Uh-huh. Th I think that'd be worth picking up for GP? auto casting. Does can you auto, you auto cast? Can you auto cast with the staff? You can. <gasps> okay. I think that we should each grab one of those because if we... It, I mean, it'd be much better... For maging, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm almost 19 hit oh, points. Oh, dude, so I, feel really I just good. got an uncut emerald. Ooh, juicy. How's That's a gem drop. That. People. Sorry, I'll not interfere with your hill giants over here. Excuse you, this is my spot. <laughs> Hop, please. <laughs> Hop, please. What about like an amulet of. Oh, sweet, strength? dude. I just got my 33 attack, so I'm going to switch to strength now and see nice. if I can polish off the episode with level 32 um, strength. Yeah, I should be able to get that. Where's all the hill giants mm. at? <gasps> nice. That's the first level. Limpwort root, very useful for Beautiful. potion making. Wow, I just 12, ate a kebab and it just cat. straight up didn't do anything. Boo. Uh, what was the level you just quoted? I was just saying there's 12 minutes left on my oh, timer. I, f I kind of forgot that we were on a time limit over there. here. Getting down to uh, to the end of the episode, man. And there it is, level 32 strength. That is spicy. Ooh, and another hit point very level, nice. 21 hit points. Congrats. Dude, I'm a level 32 combat, almost level 33. This is listen episode has been insane okay i'm debating the next move for combat training now what are you thinking oh i just got two law runes nice juicy let me see let me see let me let me gather my thoughts together the law runes threw me off because teleports and telegrab are both mm -hmm. super super useful here and until we have a decent like supply of them we're gonna have to rely on places like this definitely okay so here's my thought process shops, really Here's my thought yeah, process. Okay. We have it. access to fire giants, which means rune scimitars can be 
acquirable if we can find a good method of uh, yes. ranging or maging them. So I think I'm going to focus on getting 40 attack. That's not bad. I'm already I 33. So I think that would be the move here. Just skip Addy tier altogether. Unless we got like the sword shop in Varrock and we got like Addy short swords. I think those might be better. Maybe. I might give a hill giant or a moss giant one go. <laughs> okay, man. We will see. You got five minutes left. I won't fault you for it. Five but minutes is a long time. It's Finish. a long time to flinch a, a moss giant. What if you got a black square oh, I... shield? How hype. Oh my gosh. I have to try a challenge. Okay, we are under the five minute mark, by the way. So the episode yes, is coming are. to a close. Okay, I'm going to finish this last hill giant and then I'm going to go into kebab mode because like you said, it's really helpful to have a full supply of food at the beginning of an episode. Absolutely. I should have just enough time for it. All right, let's see. There's two minutes left, so I'm going to spend it buying some um, kebabs. Ooh, I got a boost for my kebab. Ooh, by the way, level 13 prayer right at the end. Let's see. Whoops, get that helm out. I'm going to sell some stuff to the store as well. All right, their max hit is six. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Are you killing a moss giant with a minute and a half left? I am, and I'm not flinching it. Oh, okay. Just going for He's it. half dead. We got a minute left. How many kebabs can I buy in a minute? All right, you got 30 seconds, man. How's that moss giant coming along? Just killed it. Let's see what I get. Wait for it. Big bones and coins. But that's okay. I didn't come here for the loot. That's okay. I that's okay. The experience. We came here for the challenge. Right. That is, you're three for three on slaying like a three high level monster per episode now. Oh, yeah. That's pretty Happy good. Okay, we got two seconds left. I can buy this one last kebab. And that's it. The timer has just stopped. <sighs> um, well, I guess let's find a spot to meet up, huh? And then I am we back can... in Lumbridge. You're back in Lumbridge? Okay, I'll just do a home teleport. Um, I'll okay. bank my kebabs. And I'll meet you over there. We can kind of talk about this episode and how it went. And uh, then we get to flip. And the scariest... That's the scariest part. <laughs> and then, then the most exciting part. We get to pick a new chunk, man. Yes. We have just finished episode three. How do you feel that went? I feel really oh, good. I didn't oh, think... Oh, 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 hold on a second. Hold on. It's another maze, baby! Still counts. Does this still count? Does it really? No, time's over, man. I dismissed mine. You gotta dismiss... Oh, but a maze! Deuces. Can I do it goodbye. at least and see what it is? I probably shouldn't, huh? Oh, nope. you're right. Waiting the goodbye. timer's over. You know what, mysterious old man? You could have shown up like... 10 minutes ago and that would have been beautiful but instead <sighs> oh, i know you know it's what dude get out of here get your get your fart cloud out of my face it's, it's yeah i know <laughs> sad sad game sad game okay well now how do you feel about the episode did that change it at all well that was a little disappointing but overall <laughs> you know we got everything done that we to. I was really happy with the quests we got done, and we actually had more Absolutely. time than I expected to actually Absolutely. train and stuff. So that was fun. I enjoyed this episode. It was great. I mean, let's do a stat reveal here. This is heads and tails over where we were last time. I'm sitting on yeah, 33 oh attack, 21 HP, 32 strength, 20 defense. I got 13 prayer right at the end, and we also got wood cutting. Ooh, nice. I got a little bit of thieving XP. Mm -hmm. I'm How a little bit looking? behind you. I only got 31 attack, 32 strength. I did get 20 defense, as you can see by my beautiful skirt. And 19 <laughs> hit points, 9 prayer. But yeah, everything else is great. Dude, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we have made it to the point in the episode where we have to flip to see if we keep these chunks or not. Now, I will say, if we lose them, it'll suck, right? Because Fight Arena is very doable if we can get runes for magic spells. And Fight Arena would be awesome. But as far as like what we got done in the chunks, we did a really good job. We completed almost all the quests in the area. Um, at least I was looking through shops and picking out a couple of different things that we might lose and might be useful later. We got some meats together for Druidic Ritual if we roll those chunks soon. I think we did very good preemptively in case we lose them. Yeah, you know, if we lose them, um, I mean, yeah, I'll be a little bummed, but there's nothing there that I really want to do. All right, sweet. So let's just flip. Do we lose or do we keep? We have won two times in a row, so I will not be that surprised, truthfully. I'm not holding my breath. I know. It's gonna, we're gonna hit tails eventually let's go ahead and see if today is the day wow oh my gosh we landed so heads lucky. three times in a row that's great just add those chunks to the permanent landmass. i'm very happy about that very very good it's good too because there's the potential for um trinum stronghold or sorry trinum village since we have that mm -hmm. unlocked which is great because spirit trees man 
Oh, that's huge spirit Ooh, that trees. That would be good. Um, yeah. That gives us an arty cloak teleport if we could somehow get that diary done. And there's plenty more yeah. to branch out with here, right? So Absolutely. The whoop, whoop, I clicked on a cave by accident. So the landmass is looking pretty dang awesome. Man, I can't believe we've hit heads three times in a row. The luck is going to turn around. It's got to. We're going to get a really great chunk and lose it, I'm sure. Oh, oh no. Okay, so finally, we're going to do my favorite part of the episode, which is... Drum roll, please. Oh, the chunk picker. I'm going to hit random. Uh, oh. 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 oh that's ooh, interesting. Ooh. Ooh, that's... That's Calphite Queen. That's, wait. No, no, no. That's the Bedabin camp right there. Oh, wait. Oh. Are you thinking what okay. I'm thinking? Okay. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh oh. Where's Mr. Boat Boy? I've just uh, come to a realization about Temporos, and it's it's that it's gonna be a lot diff a lot more difficult than I thought. Wait a second. Hmm. Wait, we can't go. Okay, one, look at the boat. Two, look at the island. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Oh boy, this is still good. This is still shop. good. Fishing, Fishing shop. shop. And this boat here still takes us up to the boat here. So we still have a transport yes. between the two. But we couldn't actually go to temp, could we? No, we can't. We have to unlock that chunk and th the boat is just outside of it. Yeah, that's a little rough. <laughs> what a bunch okay. of bums. I'm going to have to think about this, I think, because there, there's options. We don't have to do temp cross. No, we don't. We don't, we don't, we don't. There it is. Uh, truthfully... I, this is the least excited I have been about a chunk thus far. Um, I think you're not seeing a couple things. We'll have to talk <laughs> about it. Well, we, and talk about it, we will. We're going to do that off camera. And then in episode four, you're going to see what our decision is going to be. I think it's pretty, pretty plain and simple what we're thinking about. But we'll see. Maybe there's some stuff that I'm missing out on. Maybe there are some uh, interesting things that we could do here. But for now, this is going to be the end of episode three. Any final thoughts you have? Look, dude, look at us, by the way. We are champs. I'm feeling really good. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been episode three of Chunky Boys. Nice timing there. We're going to see all of you in the next episode. Thank you for watching and good luck. See you later. What's your favorite flavor of Campbell soup? The classic chicken noodle with a Ooh, peanut yeah. butter honey sandwich. What? Peanut butter Please and honey with that chicken noodle? What? Yeah. Classic. If you're sick, you put that on the stove and you make yourself a peanut butter honey. Man, it's perfect. I guess it's the sweet salty combo, right? Oh, yeah. Huh. I'm telling you. Try it. You'll feel like a million bucks. <laughs>